Hey gang, what is up? Uncle Travis coming to you from the Mount Juliet area today where we are doing, it's a lighter replacement, but we're also doing uh, an upgrade across the board on this water feature. It didn't have a skimmer, didn't have a bio falls. It did have uh, a canister filtration system. Uh, we call them R2 units. Uh, we're taking that out. We're going to give it the full aquascape treatment. 1,000 skimmer, 2,500 bio falls. They already had an aquascape aerator, so they're ahead of the game there. We're going to get that going in. As you can see, we've already kind of started. We've got uh, a trailer full of rock that we took out of there. This was um, the old school kind of flat stack style water feature, and there were no rocks in the bottom. It was bare liner. So what we're going to do is go over here. I'm going to carve some shelves in, get those walls nice and vertical, get the shelves flat, so we can get the rocks in there properly and safely. <sighs> Loosen the thing on the disco stick here. Check this one. Loosen in this guy? Yeah, I'm gonna get out of the way of the laser. And you're gonna drop it down until it beeps solid. Right there. Got it. Thank you. What we'll do is when we start to finish it, finalize the skimmer, we'll need to bring in a little more dirt here to bring this shelf up. So we're basically, what I'm saying is we're good. Oh, hey, uh, so we got our shelves carved in a little more vertically, um, put in a couple little extra shelves that just where dirt kind of fell in and we didn't want to touch it twice. There's a few spots here that we're going to have to backfill as we go because obviously this is no good. We can't stack rocks on this. It's too not cool. <laughs> Building term, by the way. So what we'll do is we'll get our bottom shelf stacked in. We get a rock that comes up to this point or a stack that comes up to this point. We'll flip the liner back in and then we'll backfill with dirt back behind here. Because we've got, I don't know, four or five wheelbarrow loads of dirt that we've got to use somewhere. So that's what's going on here. And then we're going to put our biofalls right over here. we got to get that leveled out and tamped down. And Gonna get liner in and, and rock going. I have several rocks in here by the end of today, and I feel good about it. As long as the weather holds out, stay tuned. Start it up.
gang, there it is, a pond renovation and liner uh, replacement. Uh, two day project on this, we kicked butt on this one and we are super happy with how this turned out. Let's take a look at some of my favorite, couple of favorite points on this pond. A Couple of things on this waterfall. We had uh, a little bit, I wanna say a challenge with the water level, that this pond was a little bit, a little bit shallower than normal, but the grade, you can't really tell, but the grade from here slopes down just a little bit toward the sidewalk. So the water level was a little tricky. I wanted to see some water moving behind this rock out kind of to start the circulation. And we got it just dialed in just right at water level there. Um, super happy with how this little kind of cobble stream, kind of little mini stream kind of thing turned out. The other thing that I really like is uh, Montana was up here tweaking with the falls and you kind of have to maybe be over there to see it, but there's kind of a crisscross of the water. Just subtle, little nerd pond things. Really happy with how this guy turned out. Love this waterfall. One of my other favorite things about this is you can see that the pond is built inside a hardscape sidewalk between the sidewalk and the house. So we literally had a immovable object to work with here. I love this. It's, the water comes right up to the sidewalk. It's just, it brings you right into the water feature. It's so cool. The other problem we had with the skimmer was we didn't have really any way to get the overflow on there like we normally do with a little piece of two inch and then run it out, daylight it out in the yard. So what I did was over here, I just dropped this edge to where the overflow would be and covered it up with gravel. So when it gets too much water in it, when it rains or whatever, it's just gonna flow out here over the sidewalk and down the yard. This is a special thing for the homeowner. Uh, her brother had passed away uh, a few years back and these were rocks that he harvested from their uh, ranch in Texas. She asked us to do something with them. So I just let John do whatever John wanted to do and John made like a little memorial circular stone garden here thing um, that I think is really cool. John's super good at stuff like that. Thanks, John. So that does it for us out here in Mount Juliet, gang. I had a couple extra crew members on this job, so we were able to kick its butt and wrap it up a day early. So that puts us a little bit ahead of schedule, which is increasingly rare in our world. Um, this was a fun project. It was fun hanging out with all the gang, but we also uh, literally used every rock that we had delivered. We used all the gravel we had delivered. So it was, it was a home run. It was a win. Feels good. Um, we're gonna get out of here and get ready for what's coming down the pike next. What you can do is like, follow, share, subscribe, leave us a comment in the comments section. Tell us what your favorite part of this water feature is and how you want it in your yard. In the meantime, I'm Uncle Trav, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. You're so cute. You're not part of the video. <laughs>